When the Bible says, whoso findeth, whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor of the Lord, this tells me that a wife needs to be found. A wife's just not going to just come along to you, right? So I don't buy into this, this whole spiel that you hear in a lot of churches of, you know, um, what do they say? You know, God, you know, you'll hear people when they give their testimony about how they met their wife and they're just like, oh, God just brought her along to me and I just didn't have to do anything. I just, I just prayed and she just came along and, you know, I do not buy into that for one second, you know, because, you know, the Bible, first of all, says you need to find a wife. And second of all, even if, you know, I could give you the fact that maybe God crossed your paths, but you still had to do something. Like, you still had to say hello. You still need to get to know her. You still need to make the decision to approach this lady. Or even if she said hello to you, to talk to her and, and get to know her and, and bring it to that point where you're actually talking about marriage. Like, these things just don't happen. Like, finding a wife just doesn't just happen and two people just, oh, we just happen to find ourselves married one day. No. <laughs> like, there's a decision process that, that comes into play. And, you know, people that say, oh, you know, I just prayed and prayed and prayed and God just brought her along. You know, I don't, I don't buy that. Yes, will God help you? Will God give you the confidence? Will God give you the courage? Will God bring women into your life? Yes, but will he make you take that step of faith and go talk to her? No, that's something that you have to do. You have to go out and seek that wife and find her. Now, you know, it might apply to a girl. So I'd say, you know, maybe, you know, that's why it says, whosoever findeth a wife findeth a good thing because generally it should be guys going and finding that wife. So I think it can apply to a girl where they're just praying and trusting in God and a guy just comes along and approaches her and wants to get to know her and ends up marrying her. So yes, that can happen to a girl. I don't believe it applies to men. <clears throat> you know, it's a bit like Calvinists that just won't admit that, that their works start with a decision. Have you ever talked with a Calvinist and they, and they just won't admit that they have a decision to make in order to serve God? I, I, like a lot of Calvinists I talk to, they're just like, you know, I don't know, like, I, it's not me. God, God just, you know, he's just, he's the one that gives me this desire. And he just, you know, I, I just let Christ lead and, and God just makes me do these things. And, and it's trying to get a Calvinist to admit, no, like you went to church this morning because you decided to get up and go to church this morning. But it, it's, it's kind of like that situation where, you know, trying to get people to admit, hey, it's, it's not just God. There, there, there is a, a, a part for you to play in order to find this wife. <clears throat> so, you know, this, this, means, this means if you have to find a wife, this means it takes work, right? For guys especially. It's going to take work. It's going to take, you know, uh, endurance. Sometimes it's going to take patience, meaning, you know, you might get rejected and you might have to try again. It's going to make you more of a man. Um, it's going to take some heartache, right? Because with choice and with finding a wife, it means that you're not going to always win. Um, it's going to take disappointments and it's going to take prayer um, if you're going to find this wife that God would have you to marry. Uh, let me show you this verse in Proverbs. Because finding somebody that is worth marrying is, is not easy. Look at what it says here in Proverbs 20 about a man. Most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness. So he's saying everyone's going to talk about how good they are themselves, right? But a faithful man, who can find? So it's saying here, everyone thinks they're good. Everyone's going to say they're good. But somebody who is actually faithful and good, it's not easy to find. Now this phrase here is not saying that it's impossible to find. Meaning that it is possible to find a faithful man. It is possible to find a, a virtuous woman. This phrase is not saying you know, who, who can find, meaning it's impossible to find. I believe it's just saying that it's difficult to find. And I think I can prove that by going to the virtuous woman passage. Because we see this same phrase where the Bible says, who can find a virtuous woman? So he's saying, is it impossible to find a virtuous woman? No. He's saying, who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies, so she's very valuable. Look at the next verse. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. So somebody found her, right? Because she's married. So it's not impossible to find this woman. It's just that uh, it's not easy sometimes to find a virtuous woman. <clears throat> so it's going to take some work. It's going to take some work, you know, and, and for those of you who are single, you know, if you want to uh, find somebody, you know, don't be a hypocrite. If you want to find a virtuous woman, you know, be a faithful man. And if you want a faithful man to approach you, be a virtuous woman. <clears throat> 